Hi, Casper here, and thanks for 100 subscribers. It means a lot to me. It's my first milestone like that. Thanks to everyone subscribed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Google Apps on, say, official OS Android app support um, using my script. I mean, using my modification of my script I found on the official OS forum. And that's called uh, CLG apps, and the script is available in three variants uh, ARM 10, which works on Xperia XA2 series and Xperia 10 and 10 Plus, uh, ARM 6410, which works on uh, Xperia 10 Mark 2 and 10 Mark 3, and uh, ARM 4, which works on the Xperia X. Uh, though uh, I haven't tested it on other devices on the X82 series, which is gonna work on the 10 and 10 plus 2, it's just the one variant I have tested. The other variants I don't know how to test them. I, mean, I, I can't really test them because I don't have devices that I need to test them. So, yeah, if something won't work, let me know in the comments. I will try to fix it. I just don't have the devices to test the other variants. The AR and 10 definitely works. So, let's begin. So, the first thing that you should do is go to Settings, scroll down to Developer Tools, and uh, press on Developer Mode, just simply enable Developer Mode, type in your uh, passcode, accept the developer terms and now set your root password here. It should be more secure than mine but I'm just doing that for a video and uh, after doing that you can exit settings and now you should see terminal application appear so obviously now uh, after opening it uh, look at the username and if it's default user then it's fine and you should be able to do it if it is uh, Nemo then it won't work for you then sadly you need to clean flash your device with the newest version of Sailfish and then you should have a default user in here um, but if you updated from Sailfish 3 to 4 through over the R updates, then you will have a name up here, and basically that won't work. So uh, just come back here after you clean flash, obviously it wipes all of the data. You just you just need to uh, clean flash the new version of Sailfish on your device. But if it's default user, then um, we can proceed. So you can minimize terminal, open the browser, and go to pfrcat.link slash sale g apps here on, on this website now enter and you should see this uh, this github releases page and download the newest version this this one doesn't work it's just broken. Download this one, 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 or or newer one if it is. Uh, here, just download the newest one. And now, select the variant that that corresponds to your device. As I said at the beginning, uh, CLG apps 10 ARM is Xperia XA2 series, Xperia 10 and 10 Plus. So basically, Xperia XA2 series and Xperia 10 series. Um, CLG apps 10 ARM is Xperia 10 Mark 2 and 10 Mark 3. And uh, CLG Apps 4 ARM is um, Xperia X. Obviously, I tested only the CLG Apps 10 ARM because I only have this device. So, this one definitely works, but I'm not really sure about those two. They should work. I tried to do everything for it to work, but it just kind of, you know, blind, blind, just basically blind modifying the script because I have no clue, basically how this will work on those devices. Hopefully it will work. As I told you in the beginning, let me know in the comments or in my Telegram support group. Does it work? Obviously, link to the support group in the description. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Just download your variant. So, in case it's CLG apps, then ARAM I'm on the Xperia XA2 Plus. And now, save it to 
downloads. And after it's downloaded, you can close the browser, and go back to the terminal and type in devil su as, as you like that and press enter now type in your root password which in my case is capital H when you set in settings before not your pin code the root password and now you should see the login then as root not as a default user anymore but as root which is a super user in Linux and now uh, go to downloads so CD downloads like that and press enter. Now we should be in downloads and now I type in ls and here you should see all of your downloads. If you have only this file then it should be easy. If you don't have only this file you can just remember the name. You don't need to use ls then but it just should list all of the files in the folder and now type in bash dot slash like this and now the name of the file sale gapps um, then a ram in my case obviously for you the file can be different things and dot sh at the end that's the full name of the file and now press enter the script should start running and it's installing dependencies first and then it should proceed with the gapps installation you will need to download gapps from the website though but it's gonna open the website automatically and you just need to press one button and download it to download so that's gonna be later now uh, i'm gonna skip this process uh, of installing dependencies Okay, so now it is basically copying the image, basically preparing for the GApps installation. Now you should see the browser open and you uh, have to wait a while and basically the source for website should pull up and uh, all you need to do here is just uh, press try to download anyway and select the location as downloads basically download to download it won't work if you download it to a different location it needs to be downloaded and now you can just minimize the browser and look at the download here once the download is finished then uh, just go back to the terminal and look at the script skill so I'm gonna skip the downloading as well okay so now it has almost finished downloading and just I'm gonna go back to the terminal and it's downloaded so I'm just gonna look at the rest of the whole uh, installation it's gonna wait till the script ends and it's basically all you really need to do Okay, so it's done, and this is basically all you really have to do. Close the terminal now. You can close the browser too. And now, nothing appeared, nothing changed. Where are the GMs? Well, you need to do something more, which is manually start the Android app support, which is only the Go to settings. Scroll down to Android app support. And press start and give it a while. And you should see this uh, setup here. Just go through it real fast. And just stand around the way set up. It might back, just open the new app, something. Basically, it's not really uh, designed for Android or support and selfish, but 
you just have to go through it as fast as possible, just skip as many things, because it's not really, you know, running directly on the phone, it's just only in Dolby, so, you know, we need to uh, configure it all out. and you can install apps and like for example I'm gonna try installing YouTube and it, yeah <laughs> that's just our end of debugging but it shouldn't be a big problem just some animations that'll work as we should also but overall everything is fairly smooth but it shouldn't happen probably it just yeah it updated so it's quite expected for it to crash so it doesn't happen on basically on a daily basis it's that works overall the animations are fixed. Now YouTube is installed and you should see it on your app list. And you just search for my channel. Here you go, it works. It works, and every other app should work. And now you have G apps running on your selfie OS device. I hope everything works. Uh, if it doesn't, leave a comment or join my Telegram support group where I can help you with like bigger problems that you just simply don't want to spam the comments with. And uh, I guess if you have a device different than the X82 series. Uh, then join my telegram support group as well and just let me know that it works so I can just add support and you can become a tester if any future versions will come out and just simply you know we uh, we can uh, we can work together on, on this project and, and sort of way so uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like leave a like if you dislike leave a dislike subscribe and as always see you in the next one